Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to The Real MU. We are your Concerned Student 1950 Tour Guide Team, and we're going to teach you all about what's really going on here at the University of Missouri. Take it away, Tigers. November 6, 2015. Two black female students, myself included, were called the N-word while being recorded by four white males outside of the wreck. So, we would like to welcome you into the world of what it means to be a person of color at this institution of higher learning. And of course, how did we forget? On every tour, we have to say how this is the number one school of journalism in the world. And we're doing a pretty good job. Tigers, how does that make you feel? It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. It is our duty to win. We must love and support each other. We must love and support each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We have nothing to lose but our chains. I say power. I say power. I say power. And now, back to your regularly scheduled whitewash program. On this day, November 4, 2015, we, Concerned Student 1950, demand the immediate removal of Tim Wolf from offices as president of the University of Missouri system. We are camping out on Carnahan Quad until Wolf resigns or is fired from his position. We are supporting Jonathan Butler, an MU grad student who was on a hunger strike calling for the removal of Tim Wolf as UM system president. We have been doing demonstrations and protests for a year, and administration didn't even have the decency to acknowledge the fact that we were upset about the injustices and inequality we felt on campus. But we have a life at stake. We have a heavier burden now. We have extra motivation. So the minute he told us, all of us knew that we couldn't stop until we made sure that either Tim Wolf was removed or he resigned. Conversation with the chancellor. We've had conversation with people, and no one's listening. I've gotten some outreach, not official outreach, that the administration is willing to let me die because they don't believe that Tim Wolf should be removed because they believe Tim Wolf is doing a great job for this university right now. Y'all gotta believe me when I say, like, I believe in what we're fighting for. And I believe that our community can do better. I believe that we can be in a safe environment and where we can actually have a, a proper learning experience. Because I know it's not masculine to say, but I don't feel safe on campus. I don't feel like I'm welcomed. Um, I don't feel like I'm wanted. And I have to deal with that every day. 
I still got family problems I got to deal with. I got financial problems I still got to deal with. I have all this. And at the very least, I believe that I should at least have a safe place to learn. And that's what we're fighting for. That's what I'm fighting for. And I just hope you guys can feel that. Um, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I don't agree with JB's decision at all. I don't think anyone does. Be, but he's Everyone my friend. Everyone agrees with the cause. I agree with it. the cause behind it. And I also agree with, I'm going to stand with him because regardless of what I believe, this is something that he feels like is his life. If he if he actually, something happens to him, it will be tragic for this campus. Like, And it's beyond just tragic for the black community. It will be tragic as in the whole image of the university, someone dying behind race relations at Mizzou. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, that's a whole nother level like of credibility problems. Yeah. And that's where you can attack the policy and the people who are in power. This is gonna make you look bad. It's gonna make Mizzou look bad. When I got uh, Jonathan's note yesterday morning, I followed up with another note that I want to talk. I want to understand this. I want to come up with a way that we can get progress made on these particular issues. Like we haven't been talking for years. Yeah. Like I'm okay. tired of the dialogue. Um, we're here for action and that's why we're camping out. Action. That's why he's on a hunger strike. Like in, right now that action, I'm sorry, I'm actually not sorry, is either your resignation or us getting you fired at this point because you have been so negligent. Thank you for the opportunity to be here, guys. Continue to bless us, continue to move in our lives because we know we can't do what we need to do without you guys. God, I pray that you will be with us as we protest. And as we stand, you can't stop the revolution. 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 One nine five the is the date the first black student was actually accepted to the University of Missouri's campus. We put the 1950 there to make sure that we represented all black students. People don't realize, and we try to stress, we criticize Mizzou so much because we love it. I was scared to take my stand and show my voice because of down the line how I'd be perceived in corporate America because I am a business major, but CS1950 has helped me know that it's okay for me to stand up for what I believe in. Being from the South, you're around racism so much, so it's like I thought I was gonna get a break. You know, going to the grocery store, walking around downtown, the, the subtle cues you would get from people where they wouldn't look at you, but they would look through you. Yeah, racism still is here. It, it, it just looks different. And for everybody that was not there from the very beginning, the media is out here for a story. They are not really here for our voices. Some of these people are students, and they want a job. That is what they're here for, so don't Let fear. Do not speak to them. If they ask you your name, guess what your name is? Concerned Student 1950. You get misquoted. You get insensitive articles written. So you approach media, especially local media, with skepticism. You see it happen a couple hours away in Ferguson. They were so concentrated on the riots, but those next mornings when you saw people coming to clean up and to board windows and to protect and clean their community. That didn't make news that often. So, yeah, it's an all day thing. Uh, so if you guys ever want to camp out, you're welcome. Uh, it's not that hot. Yeah, it's fine. Like, girl, it's good. Just, you have to use the heat body to keep it warm. Okay. I'm going to Oh, we have to stop this car on now. Oh, no. It's like a really good It's a big It's a It's a It's a It's a It's a It's a I will give you an answer, and I'm sure it will be a wrong answer. You gonna answer. Google it? 
I will give you an answer. I'm sure it will be a wrong answer. So, what, is so simple. what do you think systematic depression is? It's, it's systematic depression is because you don't believe that you have the equal opportunity for success. You don't believe Sleep okay? Did you sleep okay? Yeah, it's a little cold, but yeah. not too, too bad. working on uh, points, like specific points for everybody to hit because we do feel like the message is getting lost and the message is centered around Jonathan. He doesn't want the message to be centered around him either. And our message is still the same. Like Jonathan went on this hunger strike because our list of demands were not met. So right now our message is Tim Wolf got to go. He was, he was only given the position because he has that IBM background, but he don't get it. He don't care to get it either. You need outside validators. The more people outside of your own group that validate what you say, that believe in what you're saying, the more people listen. I was going to ask you guys if you've been in touch with your athletics. What, what are they planning to do? Um, our football players. They reached out to us, and they are wanting to go on strike. They, they don't want to practice or play until we get an answer. So we have to meet with them, like, in the next 20 oh minutes. God. So, yeah. That's huge. Okay. That's okay. huge. Thank you. 
That's the football team. You got to support the move. You got to back home. Let this be a testament to all other athletes across the country that you do have a power. You guys, you do have power. It's all with a few individuals on our team. And look at what it becomes. Look at what we're going to right now. This is nationally known. But this is all we can still feel. One of our student athletes talked about they, they've never seen a, a, a person dying in front of them. And, uh, and for many of these, these young men, that, 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 that was real. And so our student athletes, they decided to get involved. And quite frankly, simply, we supported them. Hillel is our UN system president, which means he has power over every chancellor, over every university in this system, and he allows this to happen on his campus. He does not care. Tim Wook has smiled in my face while I have spoke my pain to him. Can I get, can we get some more strings um, it's very supportive, honestly. Um, it's very tense, to say the least. Um, but I think that's what we need at this point. I mean, Mr. Butler has you know, made it very clear that there is no option to ending this hunger strike, and our concerned students have agreed as well that Mr. Wolf needs to resign. That is the only way that these students will leave, and you see we are setting a more tense now. And can you confirm about the penalty if the football team does it? Is that, you know, we're going to have reports about a million dollar fine? I'm not sure on all that, so I won't speak exactly on that. Um, but, yeah, that, that won't be my problem. You know, that'll be the institution's issue. Another demand, more safe zones. What's a safe zone? I, th I feel like safe zone is so like media won't just run at you and try to grab you and like interview you, like kind of how like this is kind of set up how you know, like folks walk outside and it's like, hey, come here. Like I think that that's a safe zone. So a safe zone from the First Amendment. No, just a safe zone from if we're having the di 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 distress, which we currently are, like a time where we can relax and like gather our thoughts. All right. Very good. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate you talking to us. Thank you. All right, Mr. Senior, go out there and start earning a living. Thank you so much. Paying some taxes. Yeah, I know. Start getting a house and a car and all that good stuff like me. All right. I'll see you later. Bye. It's, it's surreal right now. I, I, I can't even believe that the University of Missouri, Missouri, is the epicenter of a social movement. I'm really excited. I really feel the solidarity and support. I got my PhD here, my undergrad here. I used to work here with minority students. I care. I've lived it. I understand it. I just want you to know you're loved and you're supported and you're in our prayers. Thank you. Oh, you're in our prayers. We need it. campus leadership. The University of Missouri Board of Curators is meeting this morning at 10 o'clock. It is still a little unclear this morning what exactly could come out of the curators meeting. Part of it is closed and executive session to discuss topics including personnel matters. I'm going to call the meeting to order. I would like to welcome everyone to the meeting this morning. Uh, I, I apologize for the cramped quarters, but uh, because the meeting was on such late notice, we had a very difficult time 
finding a, a, an available location for this. Um, I think President Wolf uh, has asked to speak. So, good morning. Uh, thank you for coming today. Yeah, I can. Um, I can't move this mic, but I'll just lean closer. Uh, David, can you hear me now? I don't know if I put an iPhone up at the uh, speaker's podium so you can hear. Again, thanks for coming in. Uh, as I said earlier, and I'm repeating myself so that Curator Stewart can help me. I'm resigning as president of the University of Missouri system. To our students, from concerned students 1950, to our grad students, the football players and other students, the frustration and anger that I see is clear, real, and I don't doubt it for a second. To my friends and my supporters that have been so gracious and have sent so many emails and texts and calls of support, I understand that you might be frustrated as well. This is not I repeat, not the way change should come about. No. Wolf resigns. Is that official? Wolf resigns. Wolf resigns. I'm, I'm about to cry. Drea! Wait, 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 wait. Drea! 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 Are y'all sure like this is an adult? JB Mercy, it's been one week! One week! One week! The youngest person out! So, so as you guys know, um, this is the official statement. The hunger strike is over. I'm not going to speak to anyone until the other students come. Hey, don't, 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 don
You're right, we all Dre, do. This right. is a celebratory right. moment. We, we don't need this. We don't need this. Where, where are my people at? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Do not talk to the press. So please do not do any interviews unless you're told to do so. Please just respect the movement and don't do any interviews unless, the, unless somebody tells you to. No comment. 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 Seriously, calm down, bro. I'm not in your circle. I don't know why you're trying to block my camera because I'm not in your circle. I need you to move. I this is public be, space. I need you to respect our space and to move, please. You're going to respect us. Okay. So why won't you guys talk to us? I mean, we saw you just hit the record button, so. Yeah, well, I'm doing this to catch notes. You can go. Yes, I can. This is the First Amendment that protects your right to stand here, protects mine. Don't push me. I'm media. Can I talk to you? No, you need to get out. You need to get out. No, I don't. You need to get out. I actually don't. All right. Hey, who wants to help me get this reporter out of here? I need some muscle over here. Help me get him out. Right after talking about what's happening at Mizzou, the big story was we didn't want the media there. I'd rather them get the story from the source than uh, going to a news article and seeing that we're just these big college babies who are overprivileged, who want our safe spaces. The story was spun in so many ways, whether it's, you know, the Melissa Click situation, the muscle, which was ultimately a, a learning process for us. I mean, we're still all students. Everybody doesn't know everything. There was that video that was going viral. Did that have any effect on this decision? It did because it kind of started to show us in a bad light, and that's not what we wanted. We wanted to make sure this story is always at the forefront. Because right now, the fact that it's concerned student 195 versus the media, that's not our fight at all. And so we had to realize that, oh, wait a minute, this is a public space. We want them to feel safe here, too. You know what I'm saying? And we apologize for that. But on the other side, it's just that respect comes into play, too, because he was a little bit embracing. He was all up in the, face, um, the professor's face of the camera. And all she wanted was for him to respect what the students asked for in this moment. How long do you guys plan to be here? I mean, the president stepped down. Mm -hmm. um, that was one of the things that you guys wanted. Yeah, that was one of the eight listed demands. So um, us being out here, we're going to be out here as long as we can. We're not done at all. We're not done at all. Um, I'm coming closer so that I can properly um, yeah. take a picture of this. Hey, what's going on here? Oh, shit. That's what's going on. Spray painted for the oh. That's what's going on. Did they spray paint anything else? No. Some of you are, are all right. Don't go to campus tomorrow. I'm going to stand my ground tomorrow. I will shoot every black student I see. Honestly, I'm scared as fuck. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I had a class at 9.30 in the morning. Why am I, why am I scared to walk by myself at 9.30 in the morning? One, and we, we're not violent. We're peaceful, we come together as a family, and they don't see that shit. That's right. We fight, and we fight, and we fight. And sometimes you get to this point where 
You don't know if you're going to win this battle, but you do believe that the war is yours. In this moment, I want to reaffirm our power over our fear. So we're going to do Ashe again because I want y'all to know how powerful y'all are. As loud as you can say, I want you to say power from the depths of your heart and know that you stand in power with the rest of the people in the room. Mm -hmm. Ashe. Power. 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 Ashe. Power.